Hey guys, hello and welcome back as always, my name is Lazar and today we're going to be having a very quick guide on the brand new Eidolon, the Ropa Lowlist, the Flappalist, whatever you guys want to call them. And we're going to be doing it solo, I encourage you go about it solo because from my own experience it is a fair bit quicker. And of course this is how you farm Wisp. Now I'm going to be using a 0 Forma Inaros, you can use again whatever frame you want, but I would encourage a bit of a tanky frame, something like a Rhino, Inaros, whatever you prefer. Even Neja will do fine, actually Neja is good because you want a frame with increased mobility and you'll see why in a minute. As for the weapon, I would recommend you build radiation, but again you don't need specific weapons like you do for normal Eidolon fights. This is a fairly easy and straightforward fight. All you gotta know is the tricks. I'm gonna be using the Rubico Prime with a build such as this. I'm not even gonna use my Riven, just to showcase how easy this thing actually is. Now keep in mind that spoilers are ahead. There's a lot of cutscene, a lot of talk and all that good stuff, so if you don't wanna get spoiled, you should definitely tune out now. Keep in mind you will have to complete this node in order to get access to the Ropalo list. First part of the mission is pretty simple and straightforward. You're gonna have to parkour for about one kilometer and a half. This will give Nata ample time to reintroduce herself and she is definitely hot hot hot. So as you can see you do have a fair bit to walk which is why it's smart to build some mobility on your Warframe or better yet you can bring something like a Neja because Neja is tanky and he's also got increased mobility as well. Now if you're doing this with a group, keep in mind that only one person needs to reach this thing and as soon as you press the button, all the group will be teleported instantaneously. First thing you should notice is there are three generators. You got one, two, and three. You gotta head to all of these three generators in order to get them charged. And you're basically gonna use this overgrown chicken to charge them. You head on over these uh, wires here and make sure to dodge that electricity thing. Just jump over it or jump to another wire. Then hide behind it and wait for the chicken to actually cast his laser beam of death of doom. Now sometimes here you can do the following. You can go operator and just dash to the other side. And sometimes the chicken kind of disrupts you. So let's see if it will work this time. Yeah, chicken disruption. There you go. It's a bit buggy, okay? As with a lot of new content in Warframe, it's a tad buggy. So that one, it's down. Now we're gonna be doing the second one. Of course, there are a couple of different ways you can do this one. It's just from my own experience, this has proven to be the least amount of hassle. So once again, we head on over to the next generator, jump over the electricity thing, and just hide behind it and wait for the chicken to fry it. That's done. Let's see if we can actually get away this time. You're not gonna let me, are you, stupid chicken? No, he doesn't want to. He kind of has this disruption thing that he can do, so bear that one in mind. And the red beams that you see around me, it's important to dodge them by basically any means necessary. Okay, one more generator. Should be pretty simple. And again, you can jump to another dash wire, something like this. If you're cloaked, that does present an advantage, so if you want to bring a cloak frame here, that also works. Again, the sky is the limit because it's not really all that difficult. Okay, we're done. He has supercharged the last one. What we need to do next is hit him with our amp and get rid of his shield. Just like you would shoot a normal Eidolon. And with that out of the way, what we gotta do is jump on the chicken. If you would let us. There we go. Jump on the chicken, press X to grab him. You're gonna climb on top and you need to lead him into one of the three uh, generators that you have fully charged. So for example, this one. Deep fried chicken. And essentially you're gonna have to do that a total of three times. But wait, there's just a little bit more. After you have let him into a generator head on behind, hit the chicken leg things. See? Chicken leg things over there. All you gotta do is destroy them like you would destroy a normal Eidolon joint. After which you head on over to the platform over here and you press the big X button which will start the death ray or the deep fryer, whatever you guys wanna call it. After that's done, hit him with your ramp again. Like so. And now we gotta jump on him again and lead him into another generator. Come back, goddamn you. He runs away from me. There we go. We got him. You got this nice animation of your Warframe actually getting on top of the Eidolon. And you just lead him into another generator. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. And I haven't done this fight a thousand times or something like that. It's just simply not all that challenging. And if I sound a little bit displeased with it, well... 
was hoping for a bit of a challenge or something new, some actual cool mods and all that good stuff, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Now, after you let him into the second generator, there's one more joint on the back which you do need to destroy with your weapon. Sometimes he can do this, he can grab you with his claw. I don't know what you're supposed to do here except wait until he lets you go. He can even grab you off a of void mode, I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but there you go. Okay, we destroyed the other one, once again we're gonna be pressing this X button as fast as we can so he doesn't move from that point. And again the deep fryer starts and it's gonna be hitting the idol. One more time, gotta get rid of those nasty shields. As quick as you can, of course. The speed at which you do this will determine how uh, efficient your farming is, but to be honest the biggest time sink is actually getting here, so bear that one in mind. And for the further and final time we're gonna be jumping on the chicken and heading to the deep path prior. And done. And that's pretty much it. There's one more thing which you do need to do. You're gonna have to damage him directly and he doesn't have a lot of health or anything like that. You just gotta shoot him dead. Make sure to not let the other sentients that show up actually heal him. After which we're gonna head here again. Press X which will start the beam. Now sometimes if you're not fast enough he's gonna get out of the way but that's really not a problem. Just shoot him again and activate the beam again. Like so. And we're done. That's it. You kill the final Eidolon, the Flapalon, the Ropa Lores. And now, simply, it's a case of getting to the extract point. The sentience that you see attacking me there can actually heal him up, but it's really a non-issue. Now, make sure not to hurry too much to the extract point. You gotta get the final point over there to actually stabilize. Because if you're gonna jump onto it from here directly, which is theoretically possible and you can do it, it's not gonna let you, it's gonna reset you all the way back there. So just wait until the thing falls, that thing falls, and now you can just jump to it. And I believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. As always, my name is Malazar, thank you guys so much for watching, like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and if you got any feedback for me, by all means, leave it in the comment section down below. Yes, some very interesting weapon amalgam augments drop, but from what I saw so far, they're a little bit niche, but the Daikyuan is fairly interesting. I'm off guys, see you next time. Bye bye!